Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.3.3 Beta 6 to the public. Now this came in at a very large 1.84 gigabytes, and based off this and the build number, I believe this to be the Gold Master. So let's take a look at the build number. And the build number is 14G57, and a lot of you ask me why do we care about the build number? Well, the build number tells us a couple things, not only what version we're on, but also by the, the shortened build number, it usually means it's a public release. Normally, the beta releases have a few extra digits or numbers or letters there to let us know that it's beta. Now, even though Apple is calling this a beta or beta 6, that build number lets us know that it's probably the public release. So if you have this beta 6 version and the public release comes out, there probably won't be an update and they'll just have similar build numbers. Now, what's actually new in this is nothing other than refinements. At this point, iOS 10 is basically as refined as can be until iOS 11 comes out. Now, there, were, there may be a 10.3.4 or 10.4 even before iOS 11, but at this point, I think it's mostly just a refinement and fixing of bugs that, that, that were there and slownesses and things like that that we normally occurred or saw occur when you did things like touch ID, uh, all sorts of issues may have caused those sorts of problems. And those have basically been nailed down. This is an iPhone 6S and with this particular device, I think speed wise, this is an excellent release. I don't really see too many issues as far as that goes. Everything is super fast. At this point, apps are opening nice and quickly. Uh, different things just seem to be able to switch quickly between whatever app we're in and one thing to note is this has actually been taken out of iOS 11, this switcher built in by 3D pressing on the left here. Just wanted to note that, but with iOS 10.3.3 Beta 6 or Gold Master, that's it. We've got refinements and everything should be working as we expect until iOS 11 or the next beta versions come out. But let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos, even if there's nothing in them. I always like to make them for you, but I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. I'll leave a link to this wallpaper in the description below for you to check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.